A very interesting concept in percentages is that of interests. Now, we'll revisit the very basic of simple interest and compound interest, things that we have learned in school. Now, in layman terms, simple interest is static while compound interest is dynamic in nature. Simple interest gets calculated on the same principal amount over and over again. On the other hand, compound interest gets calculated on the updated principle. That is, the principal amount keeps changing based on the interest that gets getting, keeps getting added. Right? So, let's have a look at the formula here. Simple interest is given by PRT by 100. That is, principal into rate into time divided by 100. R here denotes the annual rate of return. Right? Okay. Compound interest is given by, now this first part is the amount for, uh, is the formula for amount. Alright? P into 1 plus R by 100 into N power N into T. Now, this T denotes time in years. N denotes number of times in a year the amount is compounded. For example, if I say twice a year, it means n is equal to 2. I say quarterly, n is equal to 4. So, let me give an example here. Let's have a look here. The first case, principal is 400, rate is 10% and time is 2 years. Yes? So, simple interest becomes P into R into T by 100. That is nothing but 80 rupees. Simple? Yes? Okay. Now, coming to this one, if I say that the calculation was done quarterly, let's assume. In the question, the calculation is done quarterly. The compounding is done quarterly. Yes? So, now let's put values. This will be 400 into 1 plus R by 4 into 100 to the power 4 into t was 2 years, 4 into 2 and minus 400. So, now understand, uh, this gets cancelled. What you get is 400 into 41 by 40 to the power 8 minus 400. Now, this is something you can use the calculator and find it easily in the CAT exam. Yes. Now, the point is, see, why dividing by 4 here? 10% is the annual rate of return. If you are compounding it quarterly, you won't get 10% after 3 months. That is simple logic. After 3, per 3 months, the rate that will apply is 10 by 4. Got the point? Annual rate of return is 10%. So, the quarterly rate of return will be 10 by 4. Right? Number of years is 2. If you are compounding 4 times a year, right? Number of times compounding is done becomes 4 to the 8. I hope this concept is clear. Yes. So, this is the general formula for finding out compound interest. So, this is uh, what uh, we had learnt in uh, school. Uh, hoping this is clear. Thank you very much.